Okay. So, I've had a couple friends that they've had this and two within about a month. They use this Traxxas uh, Easy Start Wand. And for some reason, the glow plug light goes out. The glow plug is fine. A brand new glow plug. Um, I've done a video on how to troubleshoot this. Uh, but yet, they're still having problems. So, I was just sitting around thinking, usually, glow plug igniters like these, uh, this one fully charged puts out about 1.8 volts. This is a dynamite lipo glow plug plug igniter the battery when fully charged it's a one cell it's 4.2 volts it has a voltage regulator that brings it down to 1.5 volts which is what you usually want with a glow plug this is a glow plug this is what is going to ignite your engine so the problem is I'm wanting to start my RC car. I don't have one of these. Or I have one of these, but I don't have a C battery to put in it because some of them actually work on C batteries. And I want to get my glow plug glowing so I can start my motor, but I can't. Uh, I have nothing to get it to start glowing, so I started thinking. Okay. How many double A's is it going to take to get this glowing? So basically, first I took one double A and just used some tape holding some wire on wires in place and put it to the glow plug. It didn't start glowing. And then I put two batteries in series. And basically with that, you connect the negative and the positive of two double A batteries negative and positive negative positive and that puts it in series so that will bring the voltage up to an amount that will actually make the glow plug ignite now with a glow plug you have to remember the center section this little piece at the very top is the positive terminal The sides of it, the, red, the pretty much the casing, is the negative. So, if I take the positive and wrap it around the glow plug, all you need is some uh, about 16 to 18 gauge wire, and then touch the Touch the negative from the second battery to it, your glow plug will actually glow. I've seen some people, I mean, let me make sure that that came on. See, you can see it's actually glowing. And it's not glowing too hot, it'll get your nitro started. I've seen some people that put four double A's in one of these cut these cut this JST connector this is a JST connector also known as a receiver battery connector you connect this to with batteries you connect this to this right here and it'll send oh wait wrong way right here and it will power up your receiver sending voltage to your servos and stuff like that now that's six volts that is a very quick way to blow a glow plug. And that's why first I was thinking, well, one AA battery is 1.5 volts fully charged. Well, I tried that. It wasn't enough. Uh, so I tried two glow plug batteries. I mean, uh, two... <laughs> I said glow plug batteries. Uh, one AA battery didn't have enough voltage uh, to push enough current through to get the platinum filament to start glowing but when I put two in series as you can see there's there's no trickery here 
there's only two batteries, two AA batteries in series. And I have my glow plug glowing. No glow plug igniter. So with like this vehicle right here, I could take this right here and wrap it around the top post and then there's two ways you could do it but the best way would be to touch to the side of the uh, glow plug but you can also ground the ground the negative side out to the block and that will also get it to glow I've seen like I said I've seen a lot of people that have used four double A's that is a very very quick way to blow your glow plug just burn it out it's gonna burn out because that's too much voltage uh, voltage is pressure and too much pressure will cause these to just pop uh, the filament will break because too much pressure uh, like if you had a closed circuit of water if you put too much pressure in it it's gonna break one of the hoses is gonna break so that's basically what this little filament is it's like a hose and then when you put this through it that pressure building up creates heat and that's how you get a glow plug to ignite so if for some reason this doesn't work and the troubleshooting video that I did doesn't help First, take your glow plug out if you don't have a glow plug igniter and just connect two batteries together with some tape and some wire. This is, I believe, about 18 gauge wire. Just any wire. It needs to be thin. Uh, and, like I said, put them in series. Connect the negative and the positive. And I can even show one does not work. At least when I tried it just a second ago, it did not work. We'll try again. So this would be negative. And this would be positive. See, there's... That one battery doesn't have enough... Juice in it to... Pump enough current into that to get it to glow. But when I take a second battery, positive, it really helps if you have these little grooves. You can actually put this on your glow plug and then screw it into your engine or if you have room, uh, just put it on there and touch it to the center post. The center post, like I said, is positive. And then, touch the negative, and you get a glow plug that glows with just two AA batteries. AA batteries really don't put out a lot of current. So, there's a very simple way to, and if I was to do this with this vehicle, Basically what I would do is I have my glow plug, right? I'm going to try my best to do it like this. I have my glow plug right here. I would take my positive and touch it to that. Or somehow figure out a way to wrap it around, like make a hook in the wire. And make it so it will grab onto one of those. And then I can touch the block. A bare piece of metal and it'll usually make the glow plug glow but if you don't want to do that you can touch the glow plug the outside of the glow plug itself that wires fraying I can't show because this engine is closed but 
that is most likely glowing. And I have a head that I can actually demonstrate this on real quick. Let me put this chassis off to the side. That's a that's my RS4 Sport uh, RS4 Nitro RS4 3 Evo single speed. So let me get a head out real quick and do this exact thing and show it is a viable method to heat up a glow plug. I'm going to use a Traxxas. This is a Traxxas uh, 2.5 head. So, I need my glow plug wrench. There you are. I actually made this myself. I took a piece of foam. And it's sort of like a uh, spark plug wrench. It holds the glow plug in place. Uh, I don't really need a copper, just for showing this, I don't need a copper gasket. So, I'm going to put this down into the head. And maybe we can actually get it to work by touching to the I mean it's a little tedious because so small yeah there you go all you gotta do is ground it out and you have a glow plug that's glowing to get your nitro engine started Now you can see that's that's glowing and I'm not even the only part of the glow plug that I'm touching is the uh, center post because that's the part that you have to touch you don't want to do this method a lot uh, you don't want to keep it on there that long you just want to keep it on there long enough to get the engine started and then pull it off uh, because this is let's actually measure the voltage The voltage coming out of this crap. Wrong setting. The voltage coming out of this is two point two point nine volts. Uh I'll try to get this up so everyone can see. Uh, what can I put behind you to keep you up in place? This is why you're not going to want to do this a lot. But negative to negative, positive to positive, and it jumps around a lot. But you can see. Uh, it's more than 1.5 volts, but a single AA battery alone doesn't have enough voltage, well, current to push the glow plug. But if you add a little bit extra voltage, you'll get it to glow and your nitro engine will start. And I actually sent somebody a carb. Uh, he actually ended up breaking this brass fitting off. This is known as a high speed needle. This is, you got the low speed and the high speed, and some carbs, like older HPI carbs, it doesn't even have a low speed needle. All it does is have a high speed needle, like that chassis that I just used. Uh, there is no low speed needle. Uh, it's already set from the factory. So all you have to do is set your idle, and then turn it back and forth. There's This is a... Uh, rotary style carburetor because it spins and this is a slide type carburetor because it actually slides open and shut but I just thought I would do that to show some people uh, especially those that are having problems with either their glow plug igniter isn't working their track is easy start isn't working uh, their low C easy start isn't working 
uh, several different things. Something's not working. So here is an alternative to get your glow plug glowing so you can get your motor started. And let's actually try to use this okay, and start a vehicle. Show that this works. Nothing fancy, just the same setup. I just have a wire coming out of the top probe. See if it'll do it again. Ain't worked that time. I'm spraying <laughs> nitro all over the place. Just make sure that I still have continuity. Okay. That's how you can use two AA batteries as a glow plug igniter and you can leave that wire right there on there. If you're going to do, do this, I would probably use some something better to hold the wires onto the batteries because it keeps coming undone. But if you don't have a glow plug igniter, it's a great way to get your nitro running uh, I'm sorry this is a little long but uh, this is the first time I've ever tried this I was just seeing if it was possible yes it is so I hope this helps some people so peace